affects their audio. Because it sure doesn't look like right now that there's audio. Don't know why. How about we use your reliable turn off and on again, unless there's just no audio here? But I'm pretty sure there was before that there was like music playing here. Deactivate, activate. Okay. Ye old reliable of turn it off and on again. It's the, uh, it's the way to go. <laughs> anyway, it is currently Sunday, the 27th of October here. There is now less than a week before the 24 hour cherry stream 11. So I've been preparing for that a decent bit. I've started packing up for it. So I'm at the ready because I'll probably be a lot busier during the week. I need to turn up my own volume a decent bit as well because I just didn't hear anything at first. My goodness. Um, so the 3D print cam, I already have like packed up as like the secondary camera because I needed to pack up like a whole bunch of cabling and sort stuff out. So no 3D print cam, but I am 3D printing over here is the case. My machine is running. So if you hear a little bit of fan noise, that's why. Because I'm trying to like print different things before. Uh... Oh yeah, I forgot. I moved the chat there for like the... Uh... Booty bop, booty bop. There we go. <laughs> Oh yeah, and I kept on saying I was gonna update this to the uh, stream elements thing where Bob, when I was dicking around with all my uh, 24 hour charity 11 layouts and stuff, and I haven't gotten around to that yet because I kind of forgot. And so we still have like chat shadow issues. Oh well, that's fine. We got Elsa's today. It's probably Boatman's birthday is what it probably is. He doesn't know what I got him yet. Your birthday. Well, what if it's also Boltman's? What if it's that? Well, then happy birthday then, Rodora Master. Hope things were amazing today. And now they're even more amazing because I'm here playing some random video. No, I'm just kidding there. I hope that there was some fun stuff going on. I hope it was a great day. I, uh, whoops. One of the main issues last time is I got past the time skip. And then I realized that, yeah, I wouldn't be able to do like any pre-time skip quests anymore. That I missed the chance for that. So I reloaded my old save. And then earlier today, I went around like doing the, the, this thing where Bob, the time skip quest. Because last stream was only one hour long. Just me running around and doing the pre-time skip quests. Not quite sure how many there was going to be or how long it would take. It only took me one hour. And then earlier, so that was yesterday. And then today I went, I did this time skip quest and now I'm all caught up to right where I should be on the other file. Like if I go to system here and save. So yeah, now I have this file and this was like my original file from October 15th, it looks like. So I'm all caught up now and I'm ready to continue with this here video game. But yeah, Majora's Mask, Night of the Seventh Day, 168 hours remain. Night of the Seventh Day? Wait, you what? Hello, hello, false souls. I hope things are going well. Um, I feel so welcome back. But anyway, I'm trying to 3D print some stuff where normally something like a dragon I would just leave overnight rather than just printing it while I'm streaming and then there's like the background noise of printing going on back there that hurts the overall audio quality of the stream a little bit. But this one I specifically want to color change at points. I can show the, uh, what I was thinking about making here. So, uh, you know, so you know how long exactly till then? Oh, about like the 24-hour uh, stream? It's Sunday and it'll start on Saturday. So yeah, it'll be uh, about six days here. Hello, hello, Guzma. How's it going? I was trying to play around with some uh, some ideas with the dragon. Because last time I streamed, I printed this guy here. Where uh, some of the main extra life ones I've been doing in these three colors. Where it goes dark blue, then light blue, and then white at the top. And this one, my printer firmware crashed right before doing like the final color change. I was in the middle of changing the filament to the final color and then my printer crashed. So now it's just stuck without horns and some of these spikes. So earlier today, some of the extra life colors are like red, red, white, and blue. And it's already like got the different kinds of blues here. I didn't, the closest red PLA I had was a pinkish kind of thing. So I did this, I made it like a hat that I figured I would glue on later. But I also thought, what if I print one that also just has like the hat built in. Wouldn't that be kind of a fun idea? So the thing that I'm trying to print right now is, let's see here, if I go to display capture, I thought about like this kind of idea. I have a green load up there. So even though this isn't the shade of green that's being printed out there, I didn't feel like grabbing like the exact, the hex color code because I was lazy. So I figured like I'll do my kind of transitioning green and then maybe my dark blackish green and maybe go purple for the hat. And then that's on there. And then that could be kind of cool. 
So that's not the kind of thing that I can just leave overnight because I need to actively color change it. So if I need to dip out at some points, it won't be for a good while because it's going to print most of it before that point. But later on in the stream, if I need to dip out and like switch colors and stuff, that's why. And that's why I'm not just doing it like overnight or while I'm not streaming because during the weekdays, I don't know if I'm going to have time. Like I'm not working tomorrow. That's why I'm able to stream tonight. Um, tomorrow I'm going to be making crab apple jelly with my neighbor who's going to be teaching me how to do that and then probably working the other weekdays so I won't have like a dedicated day to supervise a six and a half to seven hour print here. So it's like, oh, tonight might be my only chance to try out making one of those before the extra life event, like to just see what I can do with that. Um, so it basically had to be tonight and I also want to stream tonight. So that's why I'm printing while streaming despite not really having a print cam. So, forgive the fans blaring in the background for, uh, for that. So, that's the, uh, that's the explanation of that. And that's why you'll hear, like, a little bit of fans for a little bit here. But, yeah. Let's, uh, let's see here. I guess we'll go to the next story quest here. More Final Fantasy 16. We we'll haven't even caught up with the previous quest stream. It wasn't too important. It was just quests and stuff. What happened here? Oh. Come on. I don't even remember what it's it is that we're others. doing, even. Um... America, fuck yeah, sorry, you said red, white, and blue, you had to say that, yeah, it's mostly different blues, like, a little bit of red on, like, a, uh, a program of Children's Miracle Network thing, Rebob, um, and then, like, white and stuff, but yeah, gonna reprint it from the beginning, no, I'm, no, I printed a hat for this one that I'm gonna glue on there, just to, like, salvage it a little bit, but that got me curious about printing one that, like it has a hat like actually built into it printed onto it not glued onto it so i'm printing one of those now is the case from the one that i just showed on screen um been a whole week too since you made more progress with this game well it's been since yesterday since making progress with this game technically um after the stream it'll probably be some time again before streaming again i don't know it depends on what my schedule looks like <laughs> oh it depends it's the same one but i'll do like different colors my plan Sid? like it's the same model that i just slapped on the dragon in my printing software also thought you might so we'll see what it looks like and if it looks cool and maybe i'll do like some light painting afterwards and just see if i can make something that looks genuinely really cool no one was spared their fury martha tried to step in and calm things down but all our efforts got her were a pair of iron shackles and a hard march any idea where? Also, I figured this was a really Imbolo safe game to be 3D printing Bay. during as well, anyway, because we're gonna be sitting through cutscenes half the time and me not talking. <laughs> so, the cop has the least Jenna, effect here. Them. You take care of the people here. We will. But um, before you go, one of the locals heard something. He said the soldiers were talking about the culling. I that doesn't sound good. But it doesn't sound good. Be careful out there, Sid. You do the same. Dark clouds gather. Do you mean ignore the most recent question right there or a different one? Because with Persona 3, like, I need a grind. I'm broke as heck. I've been spending a lot of monies in game and I'm starting to get broke and I need funds to, like, summon personas and stuff that I need. So, I'm only streaming that again, like, once I've had sufficient grinding time. I'll definitely have more of, like, out of town and stuff. But that might be for, a, might not be for a little while. Um, so I need a grind to not be broke. <laughs> is what I is what I gotta do. And then when I'm not broke, I'll stream it again. Cause like I am in the final ish stretch. Like I think there's three more months in game, which is still quite a bit of content. But apparently there's like no more boss battles until like it's November in game right now. I believe. I believe that's just like the set of bosses leading up to the final boss at the end of January in game. So I just have like three in game months of dicking around pretty much. Um, and potentially make his progress in like the grinding dungeon Tartarus, but um, yeah, I think I'm uh, I might be in the beginning of November, maybe halfway through November. I don't remember exactly. It's them at I like that. Need you. You have to do something. And it sounds like not much is gonna happen until the end of the game, so I do want to be prepared to have like a bunch of funds and stock up on items and crap since I'm playing on the hardest difficulty. So, so I'm grinding. So I was going like pretty ham on Persona 3 for a little while. But now I gotta chill out and get monies, and then I can summon all the personas I want and make some really cool stuff. I mean, I guess there'll still be like Tartarus bosses, but Martha, do you think you can make it back to the inn? Cole is there with the other curse breakers. 
I think so. Thank you, Clive. But yeah, well, I don't use any real buddy in Persona 3. I know that I can for like costumes and stuff because of Atlas things. And they fought to defend all her citizens. It seems a step too far, even for the Empire. Atlas loves its microtransactions with a bazillion costumes and BGM and crap like that. Um, whereas in Bravely Default and Bravely Second, it's like you would get uh, you would get points to be able to use Bravely Second. This is what it was. So yeah, definitely seeming like I'm very close to the last stretch of the game with Persona, luckily. I'm very, very glad for that because oh, my goodness, it's taken forever. I'll definitely beat it before the end of the year. But the DLC of it, I'll probably start towards the end of the year because like this Persona 3 has already taken me so long. I'm not in any major rush to start the DLC at this point. So I'll just pick up the DLC during like the Steam Winter Sale. So I'll probably start the DLC like late this year. No. Maybe between Christmas and the New Year or something like that. I don't know. That's what I'm thinking. I thought you lot were all spent. Murderers. They drove the bearers to this. Wait. These two aren't turned. Ugh. That bitch of an innkeeper must have sent them. Colluding with the enemies of the Empire is a serious offense. Oh, there's ones in black That's armor. That's how you so know they're more powerful. Such is the law. It's the rule in video games. To dwell in darkness that we may purge the night and welcome lasting dawn. On these are swords, we swear. How dare you speak those words? Have you no honor? Clive. This won't take long. Well, dang. Slay the enemies. Okay. I will. I will do exactly that then. Whoops. Um, how about I do the that that I can do and get a bunch of stuff on them and then, whoa, someone just parry me? Here, do that. And then, whoops, whoops. I didn't think I was going to get ambushed by a whole bunch of dudos there. Well, oh yeah, I forgot. Like, Earlier today, when I was replaying the story quest there, I'm used to just switching across, like, Garuda and, uh, and the Phoenix is the case. I forget that there's, like, a third thing that I have to cycle through now. So, uh, so I'd have to do, like, that if I want to do the same kind of things. And then I can continue to chain them like that. Whoops. Hmm. I've got things to potentially play around with here. But yeah, the game is definitely pretty cool here. So if I do, well, I guess I could do that. Again, I'm used to just being like right on the Phoenix there. I'm gonna have to get used to things here. All right, just loop around, maybe. Okay, how about you don't do that actually? Here, let's do this. Hey, hold on. Hmm, well, stop. Okay, something like this-ish, maybe? That's fine. That's fine. Well. But yeah. Yeah, it seems like a decent little smidge of health there. I got Valley Matter. Wow, that's my favorite type of matter. Who cares about regular matter or antimatter? Or dark matter? I think so. <laughs> he just stares for like two seconds and then it's like quest complete. I don't know why I found the fight. What's that? What's the green thing I just got? Can I, oh, I can't hover over it and see what it is. Because that's new. I'm pretty sure I didn't have that before. Um, okay, interesting. I didn't see the abbot. He may still be alive. Oh, I was talking about like actual matter, but uh, but that do be pretty good. I will admit that music. All right, can I Falcon kick the door down? Oh, thinking about Captain Falcon, there's a uh, emote redesign. The uh, Captain Falcon emote. The Abbot. Huh. 
The bearers died protecting him. Calling upon what little magic they had left in their bodies. Clive. He's breathing. We're friends of Martha. We're here to help. Are the Imperials dead? They are. Every last one. If only that were true. <coughs> the Black Shields will return. The Cullings will continue. Rosaria will never be safe unless we save her. Tell Martha to beg Sue's aid and tell her this wasn't her fault. I, I shall. Sue, where are you? Sue, in here. We found a survivor! Clive? He's gone. We've laid the other to rest, but the bearers, they didn't need to die like this. No, they didn't, but it was their choice. They knew the fate that awaited them and chose to meet it on their terms, fighting for those who fought for them. Martha said they rose from their beds, threw themselves at the Imperials so she and the abbot could escape. I've gathered the bearers' remains. We should consign them to the tide. There's a drawbridge not far from here. Radix jump. The currents there are swift. If the abbot were still with us, he'd have taken the dust to himself and performed the casting. I'll get someone to... I'll do it. Of course. Cole and I will remain here and see to the Imperials. All right, so I guess this leads into the next quest here. I don't know what this green icon is. This new post time skip stuff that I can collect here. Um, but yeah, I, uh, I've i been thinking for some time about like really taking time to find an artist that I would like to get to redo like emotes on the channel, and make like a whole bunch of, uh... what, what do you mean in what way? That Zoro is curled up in my scarf and watching the stream without saying anything. It's a lurk emote. Is what it is. So that's the kind of thing that you uh, use when you're like big chilling and lurking and uh, just kind of comfy and stuff like that. <laughs> that's the way that emote is. But anyway, I've been meaning to do that for a while and it's like in the stream budget to do that. So I've for quite a while now been looking around like Fiverr trying to be like, hmm, what could be like the best bang for my buck? Like not breaking the bank to uh get a whole bunch of emotes made, but also get like some really cool emotes made here. And there's been like a couple artists that I've uh, that I've tried out where I'll usually just have them make like maybe one or two emotes just to uh just to see what their stuff is like. What? Bounty before I go ham on like commissioning a whole bunch. And there's one from a few days ago that like one of the options was just like commissioning a single emote on their page. I was like, okay, well like, they seem potentially promising. Let's just use one of my emotes that I already have and tell them to make, like, a version of that and see how it turns out. And the one that I gave them was the, uh, Captain Falcon G emote was the, uh, was the case. And it was done, like, yesterday, but I didn't get the chance to check it until earlier today because I was busy with a bunch of stuff yesterday. And I checked it, what the result was, and the result looked like this, and I actually thought that it looked really cool. I posted it in the, uh, in the Discord here. Um, I see Guzma DM me. I'll, that's marked as red right now. Um, if I go like this, yeah. So it looks like that. <laughs> and it's like, okay, that is so much better than I could draw. And that actually looks pretty nice. So I am wondering now, like, hmm, is this the, uh, 
is this the chosen hero to make a whole metric shit ton of emotes for the channel in that case? And just like commission a whole bunch through this dude? Notorious marks. Every now and then, Clive Man counts are larger, faster, and more ferocious than most. Every now and then, oh, cr I missed the word creatures. Um, while flight is an option, defeating these notorious marks and earn him not only renown, but also rare materials that can maybe be used to craft new gear or upgrade existing items. Okay. Whoa, I don't know what you're doing here. So yeah, I really quite like how the uh, Captain Falcon G emote turned out. So, whoa. So yeah, I do wonder about potentially commissioning more stuff from this dudo. I can always get like a few commissioned. Whoa, is this like Sephiroth side B? What is this? What is this? What is this? Get out of the circle, I assume, here. Hey, stop. Just precision dodge that and get some, uh, some fireballs. How about... Hey, how about you, uh... Get an orb on you at least. Oh, I thought I missed the first time. That's why I did it again. Okay, well. Okay, stop. Stop. Okay, and then we do this. I think I might have turned up my own volume a little too loud. Now it's really loud for me. Um, yeah, we'll do there. Okay, just. Wow, that's rude, isn't it? Very, very rude. Okay, get some precision dodges. And then, say, do this. But yeah, so I do also have, like, a bit of an idea of what kind of emotes I might like to get made. I know that this was a topic that was talked about on stream a while ago. But, like, what kind of emotes anyone might, like, really want to see around here. And... I don't remember who mentioned it, but I remember someone saying, like, a Pog Champ emote of Galissapod, where it's Galissapog, and I thought that was, like, the funniest idea ever, so I would like to get one of those made at some point, because I do think that would be extremely funny. Okay. Well, there's a whole bunch of, uh... Yeah, Galissapog! Wouldn't that be so funny? I feel like this is Sephiroth's side B. Like, what exactly is this? Okay, just like zoom out of there. How about? That is so rude, isn't it? Well. Okay, how about I. Whoa. Whoa, stop. Stop. You are so dang rude. Okay, just. Okay, do that then. Okay, I don't know. Okay, and then like. Yeah, the this again. So if I just go like... I was gonna say go here and then use my uh, circle button thing or Bob, my phoenix shift to get out of there. But I can't really do that if you're in the circle. Can't exactly do that then. Okay, uh... Quagga. That sounds like something I probably don't want to be hit by. Whoa! Stop! Okay, that was not the time to do that. Okay, and then say... Okay, we're about to break his thing. Okay, this is fine. Don't worry about it. Okay. And then, multi-hit things first and foremost to build up the damage multiplier. And then say... How about this? It's been a while since I've done this. And then just try doing a whole bunch of damage this way, how about... Maybe continue doing damage here, like this? Alright, well. Should have done that earlier. Okay, no, 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 no. Please. You are so dang rude. Here. Do that, help out. Nope. Stop. Okay. Put a thing on him. Whoa. Maybe I should actually be locked on to him. How about you don't? Just dash back into that one to get a precision dodge. Why not? Bam. Sure, do that. But yeah, remember that? You think Morse was the one who brought up? Could be mistaken. Either Morse or Carvey actually think so. For some reason, I thought it was Guzma Dab, but think it was Galissa Pog you would think of. It was something Mimi related with Team Skull. Guzma Dab could be like a funny gif emote. Like, 
I want to get like a bunch of static emotes figured out first, but then from there, once like I have like a decent collection of those sorted out, I think that I am going to start looking into sorting out like gif emotes as well, because I do have a lot of slots of that as well. Do be the case. Figure out what things might be funny as gifts. And I do want to like showcase characters from lots and lots of different uh, game series if I can, since I'm like a variety content creator. So I don't want it to all be themed around like one specific series or anything. I want to have things from all over. So shall the waters cleanse. What the characters are fitting for different things? And bear it out to sea. I gotta figure out like what makes sense. So, that's been something that's been on my now mind lately. Are truly free. I hope so. What of the Imperials? A pyre was made. It's more than they deserve. We should go back. Cole is worried about Martha. All right. All right, let's head back then. I mean, as I get more and more made, I do plan on replacing a lot of emotes over time. Because again, most of one, most of them are things that I drew like super simply or uh, are literally just in-game kind of images. I want to have like a full collection of actual really high quality emotes. The two Guzma related things I could see right now potentially are Galissa Pog because like that's so funny and like maybe some sort of Guzma himself gif emote. I like those and if you want to count like Galissa Pog as like related to Guzma like I think I don't want to double up any one specific character like have a whole bunch of different thing bobs is my idea and those are different characters. Hi how's it going? No one survived then. I'm sorry. Yeah, I can get like quite Before a nice mix. Life, one of them bad may tell you not to blame yourself. Does it mean I won't? Does it mean their blood's not on my hands? Cole said you cast their remains. And that was good of you. But it should have been me. This was all my fault. How? Oh, you couldn't have known. I did, and I turned a deaf ear to the warnings like the fool I am. The rumors started moons ago of black-clad devils descending on villages in the dead of night to slit the throats of sleeping bearers. What one would I, I do with Getsis? <laughs> nonsense concocted by I do still want to have an Enharmonia emote like that I definitely need. I'll probably just make like a different version of the bearer. W emote. And in ordinary times you would have been right. But like, what would it be? Like maybe for evil? Replace Dusknor evil and have Getsis evil instead? Or something? I don't know what an evil emote would look like. But I know that evil emotes are kind of fun. It's like mischievous when you want to. And picking what goes on in that woman's head is a job for someone with more time on their hands. Right now, I need swords and men to wield them. Preferably big ones. If those Imperials think they can come in here again and threaten my people, they're in for a rude awakening. Oh, before I forget, a Stolas from Otto landed just before you arrived. Stolas? tell you that Gav has returned. Then we must as well. Will you be all right here, Martha? We can stay longer if you wish. No need. I'll be ready should the Imperials come calling. Though I wouldn't turn my nose up. If you were to lend me a pair of them strapping young curse breakers. And the curse breakers are what exactly? Like maybe this is something that I missed or wasn't on top of enough. Um, release. I got black blood. But the single frame of him dancing in the similar animation. Maybe the single shot I assume there. Because it's definitely a decent few frames. Is there a quest out there? 